Hello, welcome to JD's prep. In the figure below, quadrilateral TAEO is circumscribed around circle D. The midpoint of TA is R. So let's just pause there for a moment. Because the midpoint of TA is R, right, that point right there, then I know that TR is congruent to AR. So I know that these two sides are going to be the same. Okay. I also know that's given is HO is congruent to PE. So here, this side, HO, is going to have the same measure as PE. There. Now let's look at the other piece of information that are given. AP is measure 10. Okay, so this length here is 10, and EO, which is this whole bottom piece here, is 12. We want to find the perimeter. So the first thing to note is, let's start at the top here, AP is 10. By HL, I also know that AR is going to be 10. Now we're going to use the fact that I know that AR is congruent to TR because that R is the midpoint. So I know TR is also going to be 10. And then again, we'll use HL to say that if TR is 10, then TH also has to be 10, right? Because TH has to be the same as TR, okay? And with the same respect that AP has to be the same as that side. Now let's go to the bottom. Right, so I have HO's congruent to PE. So I know those sides have to be the same. I also know by HL that HO and ZO are the same. And I know, right, so I know these two sides are the same. And I know ZE is congruent to PE. So these two sides are the same. Okay. So because, let me take a different color here, I know HO is congruent to PE, I also know HO is congruent to OZ, and I know, right, these sides here are the same. Then all four pieces on the bottom have to be the same, which means that OZ has to be congruent to EZ. And if that whole length is 12, then each of these pieces has to be 6. And then again by HL, then that means if ZE is 6, then PE is 6. And if OZ is 6, then HO is 6. So now we can find the perimeter by adding all the sides. So starting at the top, I have 10 plus 10. Along the right, 10 plus 6. Along the bottom, 6 plus 6, and then along the left, 6 plus 10. Adding up all of those measures, we get our answer to be 64. So our solution here 